If you're here right now, it's because God has something special to tell you. He says, My beloved one, let me speak to you about the serpent found in your home. This is not merely a creature, it is a symbol, a reminder of the battles you face within and around you. Perhaps you believed you had left behind those fears, those deceptive thoughts that whispered lies in the silence of your nights. You might have thought you had escaped from the shadows that seemed to stalk your peace, but today, this serpent has reappeared. Fear not, for its exposure is not the end, it's the beginning of a new chapter of strength and faith. You see, when light shines into darkness, the shadows must scatter. This serpent did not come to torment you, but to reveal what needed to be confronted. Just as a light reveals the smallest corners of a room, God's light reveals the hidden things in your life. The things that you were unaware of, the fears, the thoughts of doubt, or the people or forces that sought to deceive you, are being brought into the open for a reason. In Genesis, the serpent's intention was to derail God's grand plan. The enemy thought he could pull you away from your purpose too, but he underestimated the power that lives within you. God has not left you to face this serpent on your own. He has equipped you, and through Jesus, you carry authority over every force that stands against you. Take a moment to understand the authority God has given you. This is not just a moment to shrink back in fear, but a call to rise with courage. In Luke 10 verse 19, Jesus declared, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy, nothing will harm you. The power and authority he has placed within you are far greater than what the enemy seeks to use against you. Remember, this is not a curse, it's a revelation. When God exposes something, it's because He wants to heal, restore, and fortify you. He's showing you what's lurking, not to scare you, but to help you confront it in His strength. You are not alone in this, God is with you, and His angels are standing guard. Think of David when he faced Goliath. The giant's presence wasn't a sign of God abandoning David. It was an opportunity for David to trust God more deeply and rise to his calling. Everyone else saw a terrifying obstacle, but David saw a chance to show the power of God working through him. The enemy tried to use fear to paralyze David, but David did not give in. He did not shrink back. He remembered that the God who had been with him in the past would be with him in this moment. Beloved, just like David, you are called to look past the fear and trust in the one who is fighting on your behalf. Your Goliath may appear in the form of fear, betrayal, doubt, or a situation you thought you had escaped, but remember, God's purpose for you is not thwarted by these things. In fact, He uses these moments to build you up, to strengthen your spirit, and to prepare you for greater victories. There is a battle for your peace, your joy, and your faith. The serpent's reappearance is a challenge to take back what the enemy tried to steal from you. It's time to reclaim your spiritual ground. Stand firm on the truth of God's word, which says, No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you, Isaiah 54 verse 17 NIV. This verse is a promise that whatever weapons the enemy tries to use, they will not succeed against you. They may try to shake you, but they cannot break you, for God's hand holds you steady. God is calling you to rise with boldness. He is not asking you to be fearless on your own, but to trust in His strength within you. He is asking you to put on the full armor of faith, to pray without ceasing, and to stand firm in your identity as his beloved child. The serpent may hiss its lies, but you have the power to trample it underfoot because of who God is and who he says you are. When fear tries to speak to you, respond with God's word. Declare, The Lord is my light and my salvation, 
whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27 verse 1 ESV When the enemy tries to remind you of your past failures, speak out loud, if God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 verse 31 NIV These words are not empty, they carry the power of heaven because they are God's promises to you. Every time you declare God's word, you are reclaiming the ground that the enemy thought he had stolen. You are reminding yourself and the enemy of who you belong to and the authority you carry. You are realigning your heart with God's truth and pushing back the darkness with His light. Beloved, as you face these hidden fears or deceitful forces, there may also be a call to let go of any bitterness or unforgiveness that may have crept into your heart. Remember that holding on to unforgiveness is like keeping poison within you. God calls you to forgive not for the sake of the person who wronged you, but for your own freedom. When you forgive, you release yourself from the chains that have been holding you back. Forgiveness does not mean that what happened was right or fair, it means choosing to let God be the ultimate judge, and trusting Him to heal your heart. In releasing these burdens, you make room for God's healing power to flow in and restore you fully. If you feel weary in this battle, remember that valleys are not places of permanent residence, they are places of passing through. God has not led you here to abandon you, but to show you His faithfulness in the midst of the storm. He will be with you every step of the way, guiding you and strengthening you. As you continue on this journey, allow God to work within you, bringing clarity to the things you could not see before. Trust that what He reveals is not meant to harm you, but to build you up, to restore you, and to lead you into greater freedom. As we wrap up, let's unite in a prayer for everyone who has received this divine message today. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with open hearts, seeking your light in the shadows of our lives. We acknowledge that sometimes the serpent slithers silently, hiding among the corners of our minds and hearts, stirring fears, doubts, and deceptions. But today, Lord, we are grateful that you have brought these hidden things to the light, not to harm us, but to strengthen us and guide us towards victory. Father, we know that in Genesis, the serpent sought to disrupt your perfect plan, but through your Son Jesus. We have been given the authority to rise above every power of the enemy. We thank you, Lord, for the authority you've placed within us. You have not left us defenseless in this battle, and for that, we lift our hands in praise. Lord, as we stand here today, we feel the weight of old fears, deceitful whispers, and lingering doubts. But we also feel your presence, your mighty presence that covers and surrounds us. We call upon your strength, Lord, for it is not by our power or might that we conquer, but by your Spirit. You are our refuge and our fortress, and in you we find our courage. Father, we ask that you shine your light into every dark place within us. Illuminate the hidden fears that have kept us in chains and reveal every deception that has tried to lead us astray. We acknowledge these fears, Lord, but we do not claim them as our own, for you did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Give us the wisdom to see the truth and the courage to confront these fears with the confidence that comes from knowing you are with us. Lord, when these fears try to speak louder than your voice, remind us of the authority you have given us in Christ. Help us to remember the words of Jesus in Luke 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy, nothing will harm you. We stand firm on this promise, knowing that we are not alone in this battle. Father, you promise that no weapon forged against us will prevail, and every tongue that rises against us we shall refute, 
Isaiah 54 verse 17. We hold on to this promise today. We declare that no scheme of the enemy, no weapon of fear, and no voice of accusation will prosper against us, for you are our defender. Strengthen our hearts, Lord, to stand firm on your word when the enemy tries to shake us. Let your truth be the solid rock on which we stand, unmoved by the storms that rage around us. Father, we pray for the strength to reclaim the spiritual ground that the enemy tried to steal. We declare in faith that the territory he tried to take belongs to us, and more importantly, it belongs to you. Empower us to stand up with boldness, clothed in your full armor, and to push back against every lie and every scheme that comes our way. Remind us that we are your beloved children, and that no power in hell can separate us from your love. Lord, we know that this revelation of the serpent is not a curse, but a call to rise. So, today we choose to rise with faith, reclaiming what was lost. We choose to rise with hope, believing that your plans for us are good and filled with a future and a hope. We choose to rise with authority, knowing that you have given us the power to trample on every fear, every lie, and every work of darkness that seeks to hinder us. Father, we ask for your healing in every place where fear and deception have left wounds. Where trust has been broken, restore it, Lord. Where hope has been shattered, renew it. Where joy has been stolen, restore it to fullness. We pray for a deep healing that only you can bring, for you are the great physician of our souls. As we surrender these hidden things to you, fill every empty space with your peace, your love, and your joy. Lord, we declare today that we are walking in victory, not because of our strength, but because of yours. We are not victims of the enemy's schemes, but victors in Christ. We stand firm on your word and trust in your promises. We rebuke every lie that tries to convince us otherwise, and we speak your truth over our lives, our families, and our homes. We thank you, Father, for the authority you've given us in Christ. We thank you for shining your light on what was concealed, and for giving us the strength to confront it. We thank you for being our refuge and our strong tower. And most of all, we thank you for loving us with an everlasting love. Heavenly Father, we surrender all to you, our fears, our doubts, our struggles, and our victories. We place them all at your feet, knowing that you are more than able to carry us through. We declare that the serpent has no power over us, for we are yours, and you have already won the victory on our behalf. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Thank you for the revelation, for the authority, and for the victory. We receive it in faith, and we walk forward with courage, knowing that you are always with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Amen. Type 333 to affirm your faith. If you're new to our community, consider showing your support by donating to our ministry and clicking the Join button to become a part of our spiritual family. There's a powerful message from the angels waiting for you in the next video.